when we're asking the horse to get more collected, change his balance a little bit, whatever, we use our aids. I'm not saying you're going to go around not touching using your hands and legs. Of course we do. And there's lots of little things we can do with our hands. We can give a little take back give. We might do a little left right once. We might vibrate a rein. I mean, there's lots of little tools that we can use. But it's not a communication with the horse. It's not a little tool if you do it nonstop. And I see this so often. And when I have a rider that as I describe it, does nothing beautifully, a lower level rider, and I start helping them to put their horse together more, and so I'm telling them to use their leg this way and to use their hand this way and to do this or that. I always threaten them right in the beginning. Don't ever lose the ability to do nothing. So I don't care if you're wrestling with a horse for a minute. You should be able to then be quiet. Otherwise, what you're telling the horse to do isn't working. And if you're doing it over and over and over and over and over, it isn't doing it and it isn't working, why are you doing it? If you do something and the horse responds correctly, don't keep doing it over and over. You might have to repeat it a few strides later. So, one of the things I see so often, and this appears to be a horse, a fairly kind horse, I'm going to ask you to go to a, a working trot. It can be a posting trot, whatever you want. Just a nice, even trot. Now, look at her two hands. I think they're being very quiet. First of all, they're not posting up and down. Secondly, they're staying close to each other. Now, Caroline, I'd like you to show, show me what gives me nightmares and seesaw on that horse's mouth. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Look at the bit in the horse's mouth. Look at how unhappy the horse has gotten. Okay, he's obviously not used to this. Keep, keep doing it a moment. Now, when I have a rider that does this, often they, they deny they're doing it because they're so used to doing it, they don't feel it. One thing I do is I tell them to touch their knuckles to each other. And obviously, if you touch your knuckles, you can't be moving your hands back and forth. And also, you're likely to feel what you want to be doing. But touching your knuckles, you can't. Now, instead of seesawing, Caroline, can you just vibrate? Little wiggle, 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 wiggle. A little wiggle can be a very useful little tool with a horse to get his attention to ask him to soften. But wiggle, wiggle, faster, faster, faster. Wiggle, 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 yep. Oh, you're not nearly fast enough. Not nearly bad enough. Okay, and again, when I have a rider that does that, touch your knuckles to each other. Yeah, it's just a quick little fix. Now, one other thing, let's do the take, give, take, give with the inside rein. Sort of bend, give, bend, give, bend, give, bend, give, bend, give. And again, look at how f unhappy the horse looks. And then touch your knuckles together. Yeah, it just is a test. It just helps you be aware. Again, maybe you as a rider should go out your next ride and try touching your knuckles together because so many people have no awareness of what they're doing.